Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Life. So we're back here in the bedroom. Uh, we're continuing with the same theme uh, that I want to try to get the bedroom completely finished before we move forward. Both because I'd like to be able to use this before it's done and the bedroom needs to be finished before we can use it. And uh, if I don't have any mistakes or screw anything up, I want it to be back here. So I've got it all painted. I know it still probably just looks white, uh, but I've got my paint color on it. It turned out good. I like it. There's a few few places needs touched up, but we can uh, kind of do that later on. So back on this back wall, I've kind of described this before. <clears throat> all the way across this wall, I want to build a, a small set of cabinets. It goes all the way back across, back across to here, and then over in this corner, I'm going to build the the same sort of cabinet that goes all the way to the floor it's tall enough you could actually hang a few clothes in it and then put some drawers down at the bottom so this episode is basically going to be uh, building this cabinet maybe some more stuff I don't know exactly how far we'll get but let's go up the front and I got my little table I built in the last uh, the last episode and uh, let's get after it so I have marked out let's make a sense of a few marks here there's going to be a big RV window here, and this is the, the outer corner, the top the outer corner. The overall height of the shelves is going to be 13 inches, which is right here. It's going to be roughly about an inch above the window. I know it's kind of tied. It's a big window. It's going to be right by your head, but <clears throat> I'm going to be building all these cabinets out of poplar. This is a, uh, a nice wood to work with. It takes paint very well uh, with, a, with a slight sand coat. You can't see the grain. It looks really nice and it's easy to work with. It doesn't split and it's a relatively, a relatively tough wood, but it's not real brittle like, uh, like oak. The other thing with oak is if you paint it, a lot of times you can see the grain through it even if you try to sand it. And uh, this takes paint really nice. So my, the first thing I'm going to do is get a cut list and get all my lumber cut. Now, I shaded these in. These are the styles, this board right here. These will all be the same. These are the rails. So we're 13 inches overall. Uh, we've got a one by three up here, which is two and a half inches, and a uh, one by two down here, which is inch and a half. And so we're 13 minus two and a half minus one and a half is nine inches overall. So these will all be nine inches. Now there'll be five doors, and so we'll need six of these. So six times nine inches. I'm gonna drop this down. Now these two pieces, the overall length is going to be 77 and a half, and I hope I calculated that right. So we're you know, basically each door is going to be 15 and a quarter, including the uh, the exposed style times five plus the end one is uh, I hope 77 and a half. So I don't have any uh, one buys that long or two buys. I mean, I'll have to rip it, but uh, so we'll need five of these. One of these 77 and a half, one of these 77 and a half, and rip to a, a two by width. So I've got my lower rail uh, cut to length. And now I've got to rip it. So we're, it's uh, starting off three and a half inches and I'm gonna take it to two and a half inches. So I'm going to be assembling these with pocket hole screws. <clears throat> and I think that's the hardiest way to do pocket hole screws and, uh, and glue. I know there's a lot of other ways that are, that are sort of neater that you can't see the screws and the holes, 
but uh, I think this is the hardiest way in a motorhome that's what you need. So I'm going to be using a, a Craig jig. This is a kit I bought, uh, the K4 system or something like that. It's got a, a stepped a drill bit that drills a pilot hole. This camera won't focus. And uh, and then and then the pocket hole all together through this thing. And anyway, it goes in this little jig. Uh, you simply drop it in. It goes this way. And you line up for whatever thickness material you're cutting. You know, we're cutting three quarter. Screw in a little hole tab. And then you use this little adjustable collar and you set the collar, and I've already done it, to the depth of, of whatever you're drilling. So I'm going to look all these over because some of them have a, a little bit of mild tear out. You know, I don't have that great of a blade. Uh, it's not bad, but they're just not quite perfect. And you want to make sure that you put that on the back side that you can't see. And obviously you need to drill your pocket holes also on the back side. So you just uh, somewhat line this up. Adjust your clamp. And drill them. Just like that. So the top rail is going to be attached directly to the ceiling and I'm going to do it the same way with the uh, pocket hole screws. I don't want this thing to be able to twist or warp and then I want it to be relatively stout because it's going to be what effectively holds the cabinet up. And so I'm going to drill a pocket hole every six inches down this board. It'll, it'll make a little bit more sense when we go put it in. So I've got this clamp that came in the kit too. And it's, it's a really nice deal. Um, <clears throat> you'll simply stick your board up here. I forgot the name of this thing. Clamp it down and it squares those two boards up real nice and flat. Well, I goofed. So the uh, total depth of these cabinets is only going to be 12 inches. I didn't want them real deep because when you're getting into bed or something, you know, you might hit your head on them if you set up bed if they're actually full depth cabinets. Just looking for a small little cabinet that you can throw uh, a pillow or a blanket or that kind of stuff in. It's right above your head and easy, easy to get to. So I'm going to measure off this back wall. Um, 12 inches, excuse me, 11 and a quarter. So I'll be able to get on the inside of this uh, cabinet face I'm fixing to put up and make sure it's straight. 
Because you remember, it's not a full cabinet, it's just basically a board, and there's nothing to keep that board from being bowed or warped. So we want to make sure the front of it is, is perfectly flat. Well, I, I sure hope I got that. I looked down, my camera wasn't recording. So basically, I just picked this thing up and held the back of it even with the uh, with the chalk line we snapped, and then and then screwed it up there with these uh, pocket hole screws. So the next thing is I'm going to build this little closet deal. It's a little bit deeper. It's uh, inside 16 and a half, 17 and a quarter deep instead of 12. And it's 20 inches wide. A bit of closet up top and probably a two or three pull out drawers. All right, here's my design. Basically again, we'll have a bottom piece of one by three that'll be spaced up off the floor to give room for a baseboard, a 12 inch door, 12 inch drawer, five inch drawer, five inch drawer, and then roughly a 40 inch, this will actually be about 41 and a quarter or some kind of kind of odd number to, to take up the space between the floor and the ceiling and then the top one by three. So same plan, I'm gonna cut all my wood. All right, got all my lumber cut. Next thing to do is put all the pocket holes in the rails. So I'm gonna move the bottom rail up about two inches and that'll be, the gap will be covered with a baseboard and then that'll get my actual drawer two inches off the baseboard. I got this uh, other little deal that goes on this jig. It's basically, just let you pull it up here, and you're supposed to clamp it. I hadn't got any way of, of actually getting a clamp in it. Even though I've already painted this, I'm gonna put a little glue on it. I don't know if it'll help, but I don't think it'll hurt.
All right, I run out of memory card there, but I got this done. You know, I think the only thing I lacked was a little bottom rail. So the next thing I want to do is I need to put a bottom uh, floor, I guess you would call it, in this upper cabinet. It'll be like a closet. I went in here and made a few marks that are a half an inch underneath the top of this. I'm going to take these little, uh, these were one by threes or something, and I ripped them to a three quarter by uh, seven eighths little board. I'm going to lay them in there and pop a few staples in to hold them. So the last thing I want to do in this video is I want to put some trim up over the back where these cabinets meet and I'd like to paint these cabinets. And uh, I just kind of like to get a visual of what they're going to look like with a gloss white. Anyway, I need to put the trim up I think first because I want to paint the trim and the cabinets the same color and they're going to touch. So again, my first piece of trim is going to be a, a one by two poplar. And I haven't decided exactly, <clears throat> but I think I'm going to put like a half round or so kind of other trim on the inside. Hope it'll make sense. The piece is going to run down the middle. Blah, blah, blah. Instead of me describing it, let's do it and you can see it later. So here's my first piece. I actually trimmed this going up. I'm going to glue the crap out of everything. I just feel like that that'll help. Help hold it. Using a um, inch and a quarter, 18 gauge brad nailer. Like it better. Better plug it in. like this you can use around as a gauge to make sure it all comes together correctly like right now it's a little bit too close to the wall purposely cut that just a little bit long because you can hold a piece up there and see if it fits and if it doesn't it's really easy to go throw it back in your miter saw and and just shave another sixteenth off of it So I put the little air handler deal back on the air conditioner and I have got this piece that's going to run down the middle of the room. There wasn't a real good way to come into that AC. I just sort of cut a, a weird little half straight half angle joint I think will work. sure if you'll be able to see it but the ceiling is sort of humped like this and so when I pull this board up flush there's actually a small gap here now remember I'm going to run another piece of trim on the inside of these to alleviate this I'm going to take a couple of shims and shim this out just ever so slightly also this board is thinner than the rest of these for some reason all 
So I've, I've got this painter's caulk. You know, usually this comes in a talk caulk too, but I like to buy it. You can get it in these little squeeze bottles uh, because they've got a resellable cap. You don't have to carry around a caulk gun. It's like a toothpaste deal. Anyway, these seams that look really good. They probably would be sealed up by a uh, coat of paint. But there's just like this one right here and a couple of them. I'm just going to work a little bit of this stuff into it. I'm going to use this too as the nail filler. So I've got some of the trim up, some of it's taped off, and I want to go ahead and paint it. I'm going to paint it a bright gloss white, and I want to see visually the contrast between these two colors, and I'm going to, I want to see what it looks like. All right, so it's like two days later. I started painting this night before last and my memory card was full right about the time I started. And there wasn't any reason for me to get another one, y'all. Uh, there's, there's no reason y'all need to watch me paint. Um, it came out pretty good. I really like it. I got done what I wanted. You know, the, I don't have all, all the trim up yet, but I can kind of see. I wanted to see this contrast between this, this white and this white. I really like this color. It's like almost white. And if it didn't have this, you would think it was white. But it's a really crisp, clean, kind of grayish, bluish, light colored light. I, I forgot what the name of it was. I'd let you know. But you know, I really like it. I saw what I what I wanted to see. I've actually put the rest of the trim, the rest of the of the ceiling one buys up um, behind you. I think that's what the next video will be about. Is sort of finishing out all the trim. Uh, I got to kind of think through how all that's going to go because I got. Might have to put the floor in first, I don't know. But anyway, I got I got done what I wanted to see. We got the cabinet part built. And uh, I got to see the color difference in the ceiling and the trim. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. Share it, all that good stuff. Hit the subscribe button bell if you're, if you're not a subscriber. And, uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. We're going to stay in the bedroom and try to get this thing finished. I think I probably said that in the first the video. It's kind of hard. Sometimes the, the first to the last of the video is, you know, a couple of weeks apart. And it's hard to remember what you said on the intro. And to y'all, it's 15 minutes apart. But anyway, I guess we'll uh, catch you on the next one.